Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see what is a navigator widget and then we'll see the connection between Metro Lab, route and navigator widget. And after that we'll see how navigator widget works as a stack and it manages the route screens on the stack. And at the same time we'll see how home route works as the root route at the navigation stack and stays at the bottom of the stack. To do all these things, we'll take a look at Flutter documentation and work step by step for our understanding. Together. Now let's hover over on this and see what it says that it's a widget that manages a set of child widgets with a stack discipline. So it's saying that, okay, there's a widget and it manages a set of child widgets, okay? So, and that those widgets are like in a stack. That's what it says that. And at the same time, it says that many maps have navigator near the top of their widget hierarchy in order to display the logical history using an overlay with the most recently visited pages visually on top of the older page. Now, how to understand this? And so here it's saying that, well, many apps, they have a navigator near the top of their widget root hierarchy. So many app will have a navigator object or a navigator widget near the widget root now how to understand this one okay we'll take a step and see how it works okay now here it says that using this pattern let's navigate to visually transition from one page to another by moving the widgets around the overlay so it's trying to say that well so you might have things like this where this is the root and at the root you will have routes like this and somehow they would be connected they would be in a stack and here we'll have the navigator object and navigator object would move them around on a overlay so there would be an overlay so you can think of like overlay is like the screen over here okay so navigator object would move them around now that's the basic understanding so let's go ahead and learn more about it now let's hover over on this and here there are different kind of APIs so our focus is right now here it says that mobile apps typically reveal their contents via full screen elements called screens or pages. So we might have screens and pages and those are the ones that shows the content on the screen. In Flutter, these elements are called routes and they are managed by a navigator object. Now this is where it's happening over here. You see, so this is our navigator object and here we have routes okay now these routes are screens actually in flutter they call them routes but in many other places they might call it just like say screens or pages so that's what it's saying it says that when your user interface fits this paradigm of stack where the user should be able to navigate back to an earlier element in the stack the use of routes and navigator is appropriate. So here, what you're gonna have, like if you click on somewhere and go to a new page and then come back like this, you go back and come back. In this situation, using navigator and stack makes more sense. So that's what it's saying. And of course here it says that on certain platforms such as Android, the system UI will provide a back button and that'll take the user to the earlier routes in your application stack. So what it's trying to say that, so if this is your application, if this is your navigator, and if you're here, then from here you want to go to route two. So route two will have a back button over here. If you click the back button, it's gonna come back to route one or route one or in root situation. But then in some systems like iOS, they don't have back button. Okay, now in that case, if you don't have back button, we can use the app bar to do that. And let's go ahead and see that it exactly says the same thing. So on other platforms that don't have this built-in navigation mechanism that use of an app bar, which we have seen before, so we can use that one. Now here, let's continue to learn more. Although you create a navigator directly, it's most common to use navigator created by the router. So we can create a navigator which is this one we can create this and how do we get this here it says that actually it's created automatically by router which itself is created and configured by widgets app or material app 
So the understanding here is, well, we can have a navigator object. Navigator object would be created by router object or widget. And then this router itself would be created and configured by material app. Now this is exactly what I'm trying to show over here. So this is our, we are in the root of our application and over there we'll have material app and material will have route or route object or widget. And then there will have navigator object or widget. And then this navigator would help us to manage our stack. So that's what it's saying. Now let's continue to read the document. So here it says that a material app is the simplest way to set things up. The material app's home screen become the route at the bottom of the navigator stack. Now let's go ahead and see. So here it says that home, it becomes the route or default route. So that's why actually you see I wrote here home because the home is actually automatically assigned to each material app and that's stays at the bottom of the navigator stack. That's what it says. So this is our navigator. Navigator is a stack where things are on the top of each other and home stays at the root, at the bottom. So the root could be the bottom thing, okay? Of course, remember this root and this root, they're different. This root I'm referring over here, the entry point of our application. And this root over here is our uh, routes or screens, the one that stays at the bottom. Now this one is automatically attached to this home property. Now of course here they have given an example and here it says that to push a new route on the stack you can create an instance of material page route with a builder function that creates whatever you want to appear on the screen. So the idea is well we'll have navigator object. Now the navigator object will hold a lot of routes like a stack but then when you want to show a certain route a screen on the ap on the screen on the user screen or app screen then actually that's net to be built that's net to be that needs to be done that's need to be worked out before we show on the screen so how does it happen here it's saying that it happens through material page route all right now let's go ahead and read it one more time so that it makes sense so here, that's what it says that, okay, to push a new route on the stack, you can create an instance of material page route with a builder function that creates whatever you want to appear on the screen. So we want to appear, say, for example, something like this, and then this needs to appear on the screen, and to appear on the screen, we need to pass the screen or whatever it is to this uh, builder function, okay? and then it will build the screen, build whatever is there, whatever element is there, and it will show us on the screen. So actually that's how it works. Now hopefully after everything over here learning this, it's gonna make sense to us. And of course you can find this in the resources section.